Me, 
sent me such a telegram about babe. And, and Zachary? You say somebody shot Zachary? Yes, he had. Oh, good Lord. He did? No, no, but he was shot in his stomach. In his stomach? Oh, awful. Well, do they know who shot him? Well, well who was it? Come on, who? Great, but 
trail. The, the richest, most powerful man in all of Hazelhurst slap in the gut. Hard to believe. It is hard to believe. Little babe, she not the gun. Little babe. She was always the prettiest and most perfect of the three of us. Well, remember how old Granddaddy used to call her his dancing sugar puff? Remember how proud and happy he was the day she married Nathan? Yes, I remember. It was his finest hour. He remarked how Babe was going to skyrocket right to the heights of Hazelhurst society, and Zachary was just the right man for her, whether she knew it or not. Good morning, Lori. Well, what's old Granddaddy say now? Um, well, I haven't had the courage to tell him all this as of yet. I thought maybe tonight we could go to see him at the hospital and you could talk to him and he... Yeah, well, maybe. Are you going to get a drink around here to the tune of straight bourbon? No, there's no liquor. Oh, hell. So you will go with me tonight to see old granddaddy at the hospital? Of course. Oh, brother, I know he's going to go on about my singing career, just like he always does. Well, how is your career going? It's not. Well, aren't you still singing in that club down on Malibu Beach? No, not since Christmas. Oh. Well, are you singing someplace new then? No, I'm, I'm not singing. I'm not singing at all. Oh, um, what do you do then? What I do is... I pay cold storage bills for a dog food company. That's what I do. Gosh, um, well, don't you think it'd be a good idea to stay in the show, Mrs. Field? Oh, maybe. Um, <laughs> well, like old granddaddy says, with your talent, all you need is exposure. Then you can make your own breaks. Well, have you heard his suggestion about getting your foot put in one of those blocks of cement they got out there? He thinks that's real important. Yeah, I think I heard it. <laughs> I'll probably hear it again when I go visit him at the hospital tonight, so let's just drop it, okay? Cousin Margaret, how's the singing career? 
I've been told it's used to absorb all of our excess bile. Ah! Yes, well, it's been saved! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what that good news about the liver lab chicken? I heard. And you know, on the
come over and bring along my Polaroid camera? Well, all right. She's out there waiting for me in the sun parlor wearing her powder blue Sunday dress and this old curled up wig. She confided in me that she was going to try to send her picture into one of those Lonely Hearts clubs. Oh my god. <laughs> lonely Hearts of the South. She'd seen their ad in a magazine. Jesus. Anyway, I take some snapshots and she sends them on into the club and about two weeks later she receives in the mail this whole load of pictures of available men. Most of them fairly odd looking. But of course she doesn't call any of them because she's real shy. But one of them, this Charlie Hale from Memphis, Tennessee, he calls her. He does? Yep. And she says he's real funny on the phone, so they decide to get together to meet. Yeah? Yep. And he comes down to Hazelhurst about three or four different times and has supper with her. Then one weekend, she goes up to Memphis to visit him. And I think that is where it happened. What makes you think so? Well, when I went to pick her up the bus depot, she ran off the bus and threw her arms around me and started crying and sobbing as if she never liked to stop. I asked her, I said, Lenny, what's the matter? And she says, oh, babe, I've done it. Honey, I have done it. You think she meant she'd done it? I think so. <laughs> oh, goddamn. But, but she never said anything else about it. She just went on to tell me about the boot factory that Charlie worked at and what a nice city Memphis was. What happened to Charlie? Well, he came back to Hazelhurst just one more time. Lenny took him up to the hospital to meet old granddaddy, and after that, they broke it off. Because of old granddaddy. Yeah, I don't know. She said it was on account of her missing ovary. Charlie didn't want to marry her on account of it. Oh, how mean. How hateful. Oh, it was. He seemed like such a nice man, too. Kind of chubby, with red hair and freckles, always telling these funny jokes. Well, that doesn't seem right. Something about that just doesn't seem right. Oh, God. Happy birthday to Lenny from the Bud Boyles. Oh, no, today's Lenny's birthday. That's right. Oh, I forgot all about it. I know, I did too. Well, we'll have to order up a big cake for her. She always loves to make those wishes on her birthday cake. Good idea. God, that chick's so cheap. What do you mean? This plastic has poinsettias on it. Oh, let me see. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm calling that bakery and ordering up the very largest size cake they have, that Jumbo Deluxe. Good. Why, well, I imagine they can make one up to be about this big. Oh, at least, at least that big. Well, maybe it can be this big. <laughs> you think it could be that big? Sure. Or, 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 or what if it were this, it were this big? Meg, Meg, what if we get cake and it's this big? <laughs> go, 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 tasty treat. I'll have these more juice for another birthday day. Hello? Hello? May I come in? Who's that? Senate by exposing me to shady and criminal dealings. 
but I also intend to decimate his personal credibility by exposing him as a brute, a bully, and a redneck thug. I can see you're fanatical about this. Yes, uh, I'm sorry if I seem unspoken, but that little song you sang, I, as soon as I feel like I can talk to you, so I feel like a jackass. It's so, all right, just relax, Barnett, relax. Just let me think this out. <laughs> so now, just exactly how do you intend to get Babe off, you know, keep her out of jail? Well, it seems to me we can go with innocent by reason of uh, self-defense or temporary insanity. But basically, I intend to prove that Zachary Betrayal brutalized and tormented this poor woman to such an extent she had no other recourse but to <clears throat> defend herself in the only way she knew how. I like that. Then, I'm, ho I'm hoping that this will break the ice and we'll be able to go on to prove that the man's a total criminal as well as a contemptible slob. Sounds good. To me, that sounds very good. It's just our basic game plan. Uh, but, but now, how are you going to prove all this about Bay being brutalized? I mean, don't anyone perjure. I mean, to commit perjury. Perjury? According to my sources, there'll be no need for perjury. You mean it's the truth? Small town, Miss McGrath. Well, it gets out. It's really the truth? Yeah. <laughs> Take a look at this. It's a photostatic copy of Mr. Petrello's medical charts over the last four years. Take a good long look at it if you want your blood to boil. What? What? This is maddening! This is madness! Did he do this? I'll kill him, I will! I'll fry his blood! Did he do this? I can't say for certain what was accidental and what was not. That's why I need to speak with Mrs. Petrello. That's why it's very important that I see her. Well, look, I've got to see her first. I've, I've got to talk to her first. What I'll do is I'll give you a call and maybe you come back over later on. Oh, all right. Well, then. Here's my card. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, there's, there's one problem with you. What? What if you get so fanatically obsessed about this vendetta thing that you forget about Babe? You forget about her and sell her down the river just to get at Zachary. What about that? I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't? No. Why not? Because I'm fond of her. <laughs> what do you mean, fond of her?
Facebook kind of lit that up. Candy? No thanks. Anyway, time goes on and Willie J comes over and over and we talk about a dog and how fat he's getting. And then, well, you know, things start up. No, I don't know. What things start up? What things? No. Well, like sex, like that. Hey, wait a minute. Willie J is a, a boy. He's a small boy about this tall. He's about this tall. No, 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 no. He's taller now. He's 15 now. <laughs> friends. 